Okay, so the example question uh, question is now involving uh, converting units and you have seen my previous video hopefully where I constructed this line where we said well we go from a small unit to a big unit we have to divide by 10, 100 or 1000 and the other way around we multiply. Okay, so from centimeters to meters. Now that is one step on that line. So from centimeters to meters I'd have to divide by 100. Now 320 centimeters then is, or those are, 3.2 meters. Just try to realize that, that one centimeter, roughly this length, yeah, and a meter, yeah, I can't fit that on the, on the camera, yeah, but a meter are 100 centimeters, so 300 centimeters are three meters, and then 0.2, okay. Now what I can also ask me, what is, well, what are 580 millimeters, how many kilometers are that? And I deliberately left some, uh, some empty space there, yeah, because I'll tell you what I'm, how I calculated, yeah, the book will tell you, oh, you got to remember to divide by a particular number, I don't even know the number you, have to, you would have to divide it by, yeah, I'm going to show you what you do. You have to go from millimeters to kilometers. Now, instead of going in one step from millimeters to kilometers, just take it step by step. Let's go to centimeters first, yeah? From millimeters to centimeters. So those would be um, 10, 10 of those millimeters in one centimeter. So these are actually 58 centimeters. So I'm gonna write it down, 58 centimeters. Okay, so now I go from centimeters to meters. Yeah, step by step, I don't have to remember anything. How many centimeters or how many meters are 58 centimeters? divided by 100, so 0 0.58 meters equals. Now I can go from meters to kilometers, yeah, or kilometers, I think you have to pronounce it, yeah, and now I divide it by a thousand, okay? So if I can just write it down there, because it's not gonna fit anymore, divided by a thousand. So that is going to be 0 0.00058 that should be over there, kilometers, yeah? Let me just check that, divide by a thousand. So if you like, you move the whole number, have three steps, or oh, one, two, three, yeah. So 0 0.00058 kilometer. Yeah, so that's only a very small part of a kilometer. A kilometer is very long, and millimeters is, or a millimeter is very short, yeah? So it's not gonna be a very big part of a kilometer. All right. Three kilometers to centimeters. Again, I deliberately left some space empty. Three kilometers, three times is very large length. How many centimeters? What's well, gonna be a lot of centimeters, isn't it? Let's go to meters first, step by step. I don't have to remember anything. A thousand meters in one kilometer. So these are 3000 meters, yeah? It's all about proportion, isn't it? Okay, and then a hundred centimeters in one meter, so I times this by 100 to get the amount of centimeters. So if you like, you could say, I'm going to copy that number, I'm gonna stick two zeros there, yeah? 3,000 centimeters, sorry, 300,000 centimeters, of course, a lot more. 3,000 meters, 300,000 centimeters in three kilometers. So 300,000 times this length will fit into three kilometers. All right, last one, 28.1 meters. How many millimeters? Again, do it step by step. We go from meters, we go to centimeters first. And just picture this line, uh, have, have a mental picture of that. We go from meters to centimeters to millimeters. Okay, so first we'll go to centimeters. So these will be uh, quite a lot of centimeters, 28.1 meters, and that's roughly from here to the garden. So that's a lot of those small centimeters times it by 100, 28.10 centimeters, yeah? 2,810, we times it by 100, so we add the zero there, 2,810 centimeters. Now we go to millimeters, that's another factor, 10, yeah? Again, remember, there are 10 of those in a centimeter, 10 millimeters in a centimeter, so 28.10 times 10, 
so 28,100 millimeters. So I don't have to remember by what do I times or by which huge number do I have to divide to go from uh, millimeters to kilometers or to go from kilometers to centimeters. No, you don't have to do that. Picture this one. You have the unit, the kilo unit, the centi unit, the milli unit. Yeah? So for instance, grams, kilogram, centigram, milligram. If you, if you understand that line, yeah, then you can solve all these questions involving converting units just step by step. Because I'd rather be uh, correct in understanding what I'm doing than just applying this formula, uh, which I have no idea what it's doing. Okay, now I'll see you at converting units involving area and volume because we have to take something else into consideration there. See you soon.